I'm going to show you a really beautiful way of cooking eggs. These are my jar poached eggs with mashed potato, herbs and ham. It is delicious. So I've got about 800 grams of potatoes here. What I've done is just placed peeled potatoes in some cold water, brought it up to the boil and just cooked them for about 15, 20 minutes or until they're really tender. I've then drained them and just allowed them to steam a little bit. And that's the trick when you're making good mashed potato. Let some of that moisture go from the potatoes and then you'll get really silky result. So just with a mash, I are just starting it off first by just taking away all the bumps and crushing it. Then I'm adding 20 grams of butter. You can't have mashed potato without a good knob of butter. And I think it's crucial to have some cream in it. So about 150 millilitres of cream. I'll add a little bit now. So start to mix that and crush as you go. And then I'll just transfer over from the masher to a spatula and then just start to work it in. Now, if I was just serving these mashed potatoes on a side, then I'd really make an effort to put this through a ricer and then put it back on the heap. But because the mashed potatoes aren't the real hero of this dish, it's okay if there are just a few little lumps here and there. So I'm gonna add a little bit more cream now. And I also like to incorporate some milk too. So a bit of milk in there. And then make sure that you incorporate this really well and season your mashed potato. Good pinch there. And some pepper, some freshly cracked pepper. You could also use white pepper for this. And keep mashing and mixing. I've also got a little bit of nutmeg. The flavours here are quite mild, quite delicate. We've got some fine herbs that I'm going to add in a moment, some nutmeg. Eggs, you don't want to overpower with lots of strong flavours. I really want to show off that egg yolk later on. So let's move on to adding some ham. So just a little bit of baked glazed ham here. I'm going to add about three slices to this. And we're just going to roll it up and then just finely slice it. Turn it around. Now I'm using some ham, but you could also use a little bit of bacon. You could put it in a pan, get it really crispy and then finely chop it for a different type of texture in this. And we can put our ham into the mashed potatoes. This in itself is just so yummy. I could have a big bowl of this for dinner. And we need some herbs in there just to freshen up. I love the speckles of green in there. So some chives. And I'm going to finely chop these. And some tarragon. And some parsley. Right, so that's all the herbs finely chopped in there. One more stir. You could get really carried away with this recipe and even add a little bit of cheese, some Gruyere cheese or a little bit of cheddar. Be a little bit naughty and very, very rich. But I'll tell you what, it would taste pretty good. Now I'm using jars that will hold about 250 millilitres. These are the perfect size to fit not only the mashed potato, but the egg. So let's get our mashed potato and we want a good dessert spoon of that in there. Fill it about halfway up and then make a little indentation just in the centre there. This is very similar to eggs en cocotte, but instead of baking the eggs, what we're going to be doing is steaming them. So the eggs are going to stay incredibly soft. So very delicately crack the egg in the centre there. For this, there's no mucking around. You need the best, freshest egg you can possibly find. Free range, of course. I'm also going to add a little bit more cream. Again, just like eggs en cocotte, which we have done. If you're on a diet, this is probably not the best dish to have, but one little small one here will keep you full for so long. Also, a little hint of salt. Lid goes on and they are ready to be poached.
Now, these eggs are cooked. They've been cooking for about 12 minutes, but depending on the size of your egg, it could take up to 15 minutes. What we're looking for is a little wobble, and you want that egg white to go from translucent to white, so these are looking fantastic. I also place a tea towel in the pot, and that just elevates the jar from the base, so there's no direct heat there, and everything cooks really evenly. You want the water to go at least two-thirds of the way up the jar, so you just want it to sit just about there so that egg cooks and it takes about 12 minutes because the egg is almost in a blanket, in a mashed potato blanket. I got inspiration for these eggs at a market in LA of all places. They were making these and people were lining up for them and it's so easy to recreate at home. Oh. That looks pretty good. I've got some pitta pockets here. I like to use pitta pockets because they're soft in the centre and crunchy on the outside after just toasting them in a pan. And I'm going to cut out little soldiers, cut them in half again, and they can go on the side. And if you wanted to make this super fancy, you could add a little bit of caviar on top, a little bit of truffle oil. But I'm going to keep it really simple here. And the best part is when it comes to the table, and you just break into that egg yolk. Oh, this is like the ultimate combination. You've got whipped mashed potatoes, herbs there, ham, and that gooey egg. That's heaven to me. Mm, brilliant.